Okay, here's another example of solving exponential equations. So let's say we have 3 to the x minus 1 equals 2 to the x plus 5. So this one's actually a bit more complicated than the previous examples because here we have a different base on both sides. Here's base 3, here's base 2. But what's more complicated about this one is we cannot express uh, either of these bases uh, nicely in terms of the other one. Okay, So that's kind of going to um, make things a little bit more difficult. But what we could do is start by taking a logarithm of both sides. Now, um, you might be tempted to take a base 3 log or a base 2 log to simplify on one side or the other. But I would advise against that because um, chances are you might have to put your answer into a calculator at some point to get an approximate value. And that's going to be a lot easier if your answer is already in terms of natural logs or common logs. So when I work on problems like this, I always uh, use the natural log. And basically, in general, if given a choice, I always use the natural log um, that we talked about in, the, in an earlier video. So anyway, let's go ahead and take the natural log of both sides. So what we're going to get is natural log of 3 to the x minus 1 equals uh, the natural log of 2 to the x plus 5. Okay, now we're going to use the power rule for logs. Remember that says uh, natural log of m to the r equals r times natural log of m. So here I can take out the x minus 1 and multiply it by the natural log. So let's go ahead and do that. So x minus 1 multiplied by the natural log of 3. Now I want to be very careful. I have to put parentheses around the x minus 1 because the entire x minus 1 inside of that exponent there, the entire thing, is being multiplied by the natural log of 3. Okay, So we got to be very careful there. Um, and the same thing on the right hand side. We have x plus 5 in the exponent. We can pull that out and write it as a factor. That's what this uh, power rule for logs tells us. And that's going to give us x plus 5 times the natural log of 2. Okay, So we just use this rule here. Um, the power rule for logs is we can take out the exponent, write it as a factor, and then what's left uh, in here is just that m. So here, when we pulled out the x plus 5, uh, all that was left inside was the 2. So we had natural log of 2 right here. Um, and the same thing on the left-hand side with the 3 and the x minus 1. OK, so anyway, um, continuing now, what do we do next? So the next thing we want to do, well, eventually, what are we doing overall? We're solving for x, right? So eventually, we want to get x by itself on one side, everything else on the other. So what we're going to have to do first is um, do something so that we don't have x stuck in the parentheses. Okay, We can't really do anything yet because x is stuck inside of the parentheses. So what we first have to do is distribute. So distribute the natural log of 3. So we're going to have x times the natural log of 3, and then minus natural log of 3. So we have minus 1 times natural log of 3 is just minus natural log of 3. And then distribute on the right-hand side, we have x times natural log of 2, and then plus 5 times the natural log of 2. OK, now we're almost there. So what we want to do now is, so here's something with an x, here's something with an x, and then here's something without an x, something without an x. We want to get everything without an x on one side and everything with an x on the other side. So everything that has an x, let's put it on the left. So we're going to subtract. Um, let me get rid of those underlines. What we want to do is subtract x, l, and 2 from both sides. So we get x times natural log of 3 minus natural log of 3, and then minus x times natural log of 2 equals all that's left on the right-hand side now is 5 times the natural log of 2. And then finally, so here, um, well, here's something with an x, something with an x, and then we still have this without an x over here, and this without an x over here. So now we want to get this guy on the other side. So we're just going to add the natural log of 3 to both sides. So this might look kind of weird and kind of complicated, but it's really just like solving any other linear equation. Like if you have to solve something like 7x minus 10 equals 3x plus 1. Okay, It's the exact same kind of thing, just um, instead of these nice constants like 7, negative 10, 3, and 1, we have these goofy looking constants like natural log of 3, natural log of 2, uh, 5 times the natural log of 2, and so on. 
but it's still the exact same principle applies because it's the exact same type of equation now. It's just a linear equation in x just with goofier looking constants and numbers. Okay, so anyway, just a little side note there that even though this might look more complicated, um, don't let that scare you or bother you or upset you in any way because it really is um, just a linear equation with goofy numbers. Okay, so anyway, add natural log of 3 to both sides. Natural log of 3 is just a constant. So uh, what we're going to get now, on the left we have x times natural log of 3 minus x times natural log of 2 equals 5 times natural log of 2 and then plus natural log of 3. Okay, so now um, we're doing, doing pretty good here. We have everything with an x on this side, everything without an x over here now. So let's go ahead and uh, what do we do now? Well, here's x times something minus x times something else. So what we can do at this point is factor the x out. So we have x times the quantity, natural log of 3 minus natural log of 2 equals 5 times the natural log of 2 plus the natural log of 3. And then finally what we want to do to get the x all by itself is just divide both sides. Divide both sides by natural log of 3 minus natural log of, oops, minus natural log of 2. Okay, and that's an n right there. Divide both sides by natural log of 3 minus natural log of 2. And then that's going to give us our final answer. x equals 5 times the natural log of 2 plus natural log of 3 divided by natural log of 3 minus natural log of 2. Okay. So that's our final answer. And we do see that, that is, uh, this is quite a bit more complicated than the previous examples we looked at, okay? because we started with um, two different bases that cannot be expressed nicely in terms of each other. Okay. So, um, and also I do want to point out that here, because we took natural logs, we started by taking natural logs instead of a base 2 log or a base 3 log, even though that might be tempting at first. And this is nice now because if we have to get an approximate value for this expression, we can just toss that into our calculator um, because the calculator is going to have natural log on it, but probably not have base 2 or base 3 log. And anyway, just a side note, if you do need to get the approximate value of this, it is uh, x is approximately equal to, if I did this right, 11.257-ish. Uh, okay, so that's the approximate value of the solution there. So anyway, that's another example of solving an exponential equation.